Hey, phone callers and freight haulers, my name is John, and welcome to another episode of Out of Context, the show where we tackle some of the most misused, misinterpreted, and misunderstood verses in all of scripture. You may have noticed that we have a new intro to our show. You like? Today we are unpacking Romans chapter 14, verse 13. Oh, don't have that one memorized? Not your life verse? Romans 14, 13 says, Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of any brother. This verse is usually summarized in the Christianese phrase, don't cause your brother or sister to stumble. And that just so happens to be the first way we take this verse out of context. We often paraphrase verses like this one or verse 20 as this all-encompassing, always applicable foundation of the Christian faith, rather than a specific instruction to a specific people at a specific time in history. And we shouldn't miss this, since the very first word in this verse is very Therefore. We've talked about before on this show how this word, therefore, clues us into the fact that the writer, in this case, Paul, is not starting a fresh or new argument here, but rather he is expanding on a point that has already been in development. We gotta look back a little bit. The specific problem that Paul is appealing to here is a debate that is going on in his day between the Jews and the Gentiles surrounding two topics, days and meats. Though they were both followers of the way, due to their spiritual upbringing and their theological background, these two parties were constantly debating these two topics. And so now that we understand the original context in which this command was given, now we can properly apply it to our circumstances today. On the whole, this is a passage that answers the question, how do we love each other when we disagree? When your friend believes in infant baptism, but you believe in baptism by choice. When your church teaches Genesis as a poem, but you believe it was a literal historical account. When you love watching Game of Thrones, and your YouTube subscribers tell you you're going to hell for it. Sorry. Last one was a little personal. You don't have to be a Christian for very long to find out that there are plenty of things that believers disagree on. And in the passage, Paul is prescribing the attitude that we as believers should take when we find ourselves in these disagreements. And there's sort of a duality to this verse and to this attitude. Allow me to explain. As shocking and as frustrating as it is, I actually hear this verse quoted a lot by young men in youth groups when talking about the revealing clothing that the girls in their youth group are wearing. They can't wear that. They're causing me to stumble. First of all, come on, take responsibility for your hormones. But on the other side, using this logic, said girl could use this same verse as a way to defend herself. Let us not pass judgment any longer. When looked at through this example, this verse seems contradictory on the surface. But to understand the heart of what Paul is trying to communicate, here, let's look at verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The modern interpretation of this verse might replace eating and drinking with music and movies, dating and courting, politics and voting. On one side, this verse is not an excuse to say or act or wear whatever we want. And on the other side, it is also not an excuse for walking around judging and condemning the clothing or behavior of others. But this verse is a call to put both of those mindsets aside so that we can, as verse 19 says, pursue what makes for peace and mutual upbuilding. It is a call for one party to be sensitive to the conscience and convictions of fellow believers, and for those fellow believers to return that kindness and sensitivity with patience and understanding for the behaviors slash decisions of that group. You see, this is not some all-encompassing mandate saying never judge or never offend anyone, because that would be impossible. This verse is meant to provide us with rich, biblical wisdom in how we should engage with one another on these topics that we disagree on. And to view this as merely a teaching on good moral behavior is actually to sell this passage incredibly short, because this attitude that Paul is teaching about it's actually a reflection of the gospel. Because in his life and in his death, 
Jesus embodied this attitude perfectly. When Jesus came to earth, he could have judged and he could have condemned the world. He was God, he had every right to. Jesus had every right to judge the world. But instead, he chose to save it on the cross by removing the largest hindrance or stumbling block that the world has ever known, the stumbling block of sin and death. When we put this verse in its proper context, not only does it help our attitude in the way we relate to fellow believers, but it also deepens our understanding and our gratitude for what our Savior Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. Hey friends, thank you so much for watching this episode of Out of Context. It feels really good to be back in our normal run of shows. As many of you know, we did this experiment in January. Thank you for all of you who have voted. If you haven't voted on which video from January we should add into our normal run of shows, you can still do that. You can still visit the link in the description and you can still vote. I'll be revealing which new video style we'll be adding in in just a few weeks. But as for today, thank you for watching this episode of Out of Context. Please comment down below. Let me know what other verses do you want me to tackle on this show? What verses out there do you find people misusing, misinterpreting, or just plain old misunderstanding? Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to get tickets to my Tampa show, which is coming up in April, April 12th. If you're in the Tampa area, I'd love to see you there. You can get tickets in the description. I love you all. Keep being awesome.